Hi, I'm Arlo Leach, and I'm a jug player. And I know that sounds like the opening of an AA meeting, uh, but it's true. Uh, playing jug is kind of addictive, but unlike drinking from the jug, it's not bad for you. So I'm going to show you the technique of how to play the jug. Now, the first thing that you need to know is that most of the sound of jug playing doesn't come from the jug, it comes from your lips. So we can learn to play, we can learn the basic technique, and you can do a lot of practicing without any jug at all. So we're just going to focus on the lips in this lesson. We'll try the jug again in the next lesson. So here's the basic technique. And all you're doing is holding your lips fairly tightly together, but then forcing air out through your lips. And if your lips are tight enough, they'll create enough resistance to create that buzzing sound. If you're not getting any sound, your lips might be too tight, and then you'll have something like this. So just relax a little bit. If your lips are too loose, on the other hand, you won't get any sound. You'll just kind of get a flapping. So you need to find that sweet spot where it's just tight enough that you can force some air out and make your lips buzz. Another thing to think about is that the opening in the center of your lips should be, well, imagine that you're drinking through a straw and you just have a little opening in the center. All right, if you're not able to get a sound right away, just work on it for a little while. You can pause the video if you want and just experiment with the tension and the positioning of your lips. Now, once you are able to get a sound, uh, the next step is to try to change pitch. You don't just want to play one note all the time. You want to be able to play uh, a variety of notes on your jug. And the way to do that is to adjust the tension of your lips. So a tighter tension or tighter lips gives you a higher sound. And looser or uh, looser lips or less tension gives you a lower sound. Until you lose the sound at the bottom end. Okay, so experiment with that a little bit. Loose lips. Tight lips. And in between. You can even try, try to slur your pitch from bottom to top and back again. I'm moving my eyes, but uh, actually moving your eyes or moving your head doesn't help you change your pitch. Sometimes it's hard not to do that, though. So your homework from now to the second lesson is just to get comfortable making that sound, get to the point where you can make that sound without thinking about it too much, and then also get to the point where you can change pitches and get at least a few notes. Ideally, you want to get an octave or more, but for starting out, you might only be able to get a, a few notes within a small range. But spend some time uh, exploring the limits of your upper and lower range and trying to push it so that you can get more notes. Remember, you don't need a jug right now. You don't even need your hands to do this, so you can practice while you're doing dishes, taking a shower, commuting to work, maybe in your car, maybe not on the bus. Uh, but spend some time uh, practicing this technique and then come back for lesson two. <laughs>